Hi, my name's Pete Wood. I am M7 PMW is my radio call sign here in the UK. And I work for Design Spark, part of RS Components. And about two years ago, I passed my ham radio license, the foundation level. And uh, I haven't done much since then, really. Only till recently with this lockdown, I've been at home working more. And I picked up my ham radios again. So little bow fans like this, little handhelds that do two meter and 70 centimeters UHF, VHF and quite enjoying uh, trying to connect into repeaters and talking to people. And then uh, I got talking to my friend uh, John at SDR Play and he uh, reminded me about the SDR Play box that uh, I have. And uh, I thought actually I should probably pick it up and have a bit of a tinker. So this is it. Uh, if you don't know what one of these is, it's basically a software defined radio box that allows you to connect your computer and pick up transmissions from all over the world, I guess, if you've got the right antennas. And actually until now, I've only been kind of using this little um, mag mount that's for a car. It does a job and uh, it picks up a little bit of traffic from uh, air bands. I can get the uh, two meter and 70 stuff as well, PMR, uh, kind of local signals, but uh, this is pretty limited for what you can do. So John said to me that perhaps I should try and experiment with putting up an antenna, or just a bit of wire in the garden and see if I can pick up like the 20 meter band, for example, which apparently is uh, quite busy, uh, especially at the moment, I guess, for a lot of people being at home. So that basically involves me stretching a piece of wire up the garden, um, getting up as high as I can, and then connecting the other end to the SDR play here. And then I should be able to receive lots of cool transitions to, uh, or transmissions, sorry, to uh, tune into. So let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. And uh, in requires a few tools and some wire obviously so I've been up the shed had a little ferret around and found a few things so let's see uh, what I managed to do so I'm gonna make my antenna out of a bit of what is actually earthing wire because it's the longest piece of cable I've got on my shed and we're gonna stretch this out down the garden attach it to the top of the tree find another point try and get it as far off the ground as possible probably about three or four meters if we're lucky maybe four could be five anyway We'll get that and then uh, that will be the base of our antenna. I'm just going to roll this out with the help of one of my kids. A couple of hitches. That's one end. So this is the end of the cable and uh, this is my SDL play RSP1A and the connector is an SMA female so I need to get this into the center of that um, which I probably could do with one of the strands probably not going to give me the best result so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an adapter so I've actually got a I think it's an SO239 um, or anyway, it's a UHF connector, so a female UHF connector on one side, on the other side there's an SMA male, and that'll go straight into the SDR play box. So the idea is I take this end of the, the antenna wire that I've stretched up, and I need to put it into uh, the center pin here, get that nice and tight, and make sure that I don't touch any of the outside, because what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do a separate ground off of here as close to the radio as possible, and uh, if I just bend that around with any luck, I'm hoping that I should be able to wedge it into the center. There we go. That's worked quite well. Nothing's touching the side. So that's it. Let's uh, connect that up and then let's do the ground. So this is my ground, I've just cut another length of wire basically, and I'm going to put this onto the uh, little crocodile clip here, and I'm then going to ground it out from here, and the other end of this is going to get hammered into the ground into a, with a metal pole or a bit of copper pipe if I can find it, and uh, that, uh, that is almost just done then with the antenna. Okay, so that's made up, so that will basically ground out to there. 
and uh, what I'll do is I'll get the other end which I'm unscrewing now and then my ground which will go on there so we've got a piece of copper pipe and we're going to stick that into the ground and then this is the bit that goes to the uh, SDR play where I'm going to ground it out or earth it out so I'm going to pop that onto there and then apparently making it wet makes it uh, ground better so hopefully we get a better signal let's go and try that out okay so I'm all set up and ready to go um, I'm tuned into the 20 meter band here and uh, that's done this setting here so if you click on bands we've got 20 meters which puts in here 14 uh, megahertz and it's just over here what 205 kilohertz so basically what I need to do now is go across and press play and uh, well, and we've already got something so which is pretty cool now there are tons of settings on here that I need to learn how to play with to get um, to clean up the signal uh, I can step through and uh, reduce the number of kilohertz that I'm going across but ultimately what you need to look for is there's these little um, these blips and so all of these blips are signals basically so you need to click on those and see what you can pick up I've got the gain pretty much high here so I know there's loads of other settings I just need to to learn what so you can see there we've got something Okay, that sounds French, so I guess uh, that's obviously from a French ham. So I've had a fun Saturday afternoon here in South Oxfordshire in the UK tinkering with my SDR play and uh, it's definitely a massive improvement so I was using this whip antenna little mag mount before which was great for two meters and 70 centimeter handbands and and some air traffic actually to be fair I was getting some on that but uh, I'd never really got anything in the HF world so this antenna here just using this piece of wire that I found at my shed uh, what amazing results I'm so pleased with that and uh, this was so simple to do and as you can see on the video there tuning into the 20 meter band I was able to pick up traffic from sounded like all over the world and uh, I'm, I need to do a lot more learning around how to use the console the SDR console but I got the basics and I was sort of uh, surfing around and clicking on things and I heard uh, the words Guatemala that would be great if we got that far uh, I think I heard some guy in the US uh, somewhere in, in Southern California by the sounds of it and I certainly heard European traffic as well so hams in France Italy and I think Spain as well and Saturdays I understand is generally a pretty good day to do this kind of thing because on a Saturday a lot of the uh, ham enthusiasts they are doing these uh, competitions and they're trying to make as many contacts as they can around the world 
and uh, the 20 meter band seems uh, quite a popular one for that so so yeah had great fun um it's a relatively inexpensive thing to get into now you don't need a license to do just listening into this stuff so anybody can have a go this sdr play this is an rsp one a uh, it'll allow you to go from about, I think it's one kilohertz up to two gigahertz. So it's a really wide band. You can pick up all kinds of stuff. And I live outside in the countryside uh, in the UK here, but uh, if you're nearer towns or cities, you'd probably get a lot more than I do. But um, HF, you know, generally you can be, be anywhere and get some really cool stuff. So I encourage you to get one of these. Uh, we sell them at RS Components. I'll put a link into the video and uh, have a tinker. And you never know, this might be your first step into the world of ham radio. So thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. This is M7 PMW Mike 7 Papa November Whiskey 73.